Okay, and uh, part one has ended, <clears throat> and uh, part two is now in session. Uh, I hope everyone can hear me and all this stuff. Um, so uh, maybe uh, somebody uh, let me know, um, and uh, that'd be uh, cool. And uh, we'll uh, continue on with what I need to uh, do here. Okay, five by five. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Sue. And I'm, I'm just uh, typing stuff here. Of course, mistyping stuff. As uh, auto-incorrect tries to incorrect me. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, there's uh, some uh, cookies uh, for everybody. All right. And uh, Grandma B, of course, was the sneaky one. And boy, she uh, hopped in here uh, so quick. And, uh, yep. She made it before Lizoid and everyone else made it before Dave. Uh, Dave is usually pretty uh, shreppy. So, yeah, uh, congratulations, uh, Grandma B. And uh, welcome on board, everyone, uh, into our wonderful part two of our Volcano X stream uh, for tonight. And, uh, of course, it is the uh, 11th of April, 2024. And just in case uh, you uh, didn't uh, get the uh, date from the earlier part. Uh, but we do have our wonderful Reagan's Peninsula on the screen. Um, when we uh, get back from the break. And of course, uh, for those who don't know, uh, because I just switched streams, I am going to go take a little bit of a break. So uh, we're going to do that. And then when we come back, we will uh, continue on with uh, going over our uh, volcanoes. And we'll do our bacon seeds after the next break, okay? And just to be on uh, the kind of a balancing outside here so we can uh, do that. So anyway, um, for those good people who did pop in, hey, uh, pop that like button, help us out that way. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing if you're enjoying what you're getting. And I'm watching and uh, hearing and all that nice stuff. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go take a break. And I will be back in a few minutes or songs or something. Uh, you know, a little bit. i got to take a break. I'll be back. Thanks.
And there we go. I'm, I'm back on. Uh, welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. Uh, you're watching Volcano X live stream, uh, the show that started late today. Uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs from uh, Sue and uh, King and Colin and uh, um, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. And uh, I guess uh, that's only the three that are there. How many people are here, by the way? And uh, we uh, lost a bunch of people. Uh, thanks uh, there, Henry. <laughs> Glad that, that you're uh, still uh, with it. Hey, did you figure out how to uh, spell that word? Um, <laughs> uh, just uh, bugging you. It's all good. Uh, it'll come to you. Trust me, it will. <laughs> Uh, 27 apparently. Yeah, we had um, a bunch more in the other one. Oh, we got 31 now. And uh, my mom always uh, told me I was a lost uh, cause. Well, uh, where did you lose? Uh, where's uh, your causes uh, lost? Uh, still here, Doc. Awesome, uh, Rebecca, and uh, good to see you. And, and uh, thanks uh, for being on. Okay, so we had a look at um, the basics of uh, what's going on there in Iceland. Let's uh, go uh, travel beyond uh, Iceland a little bit. And uh, we haven't been over at uh, Popo Kanti Pedal for a while, so I wanted to uh, pop over there. And uh, we'll uh, take a look there, see what's going on. Um, definitely some uh, cloudy action. Uh, we are seeing some material come out of it, but also something uh, kind of uh, drifting over top. So I'm sure what's all involved there. And when we go further back in time, we see it clouds in the background. Let's see, uh, more clouds? Yep, in the foreground now. Uh, but earlier, there you go, 10.06 uh, a.m. And uh, just by itself and uh, doing some off-gassing. If we uh, go back even further, uh, it was uh, doing about the same 8.06. And uh, I don't know if we get right into uh, the uh, golden times here. Um, yeah, it really wasn't that golden uh, at a six, uh, 16 a.m. Uh, nothing coming out. We move up a little bit, six, uh, 640 a.m. I mean, uh, we uh, do see a little bit of uh, a degassing there. And uh, that's about it. Um, one of the things in this particular shot I want to just point out, look at these uh, dunes of lava. And uh, that is literally what this is. These are dunes of uh, lava dust. And, uh, you know, if you ever get a real heavy rain up there, boy, that's going to make one heck of a soup. Uh, you uh, don't want to be anywhere near it. Anyway, let's leave uh, that be. Um, but it's uh, neat to see that. And that is uh, just a piled up tephra, <laughs> for the most part. And chunks of lava. Anyway, we're putting it back on live, make that smaller. Let's go to our next friend. And of course, uh, that is uh, Fuego. And uh, what a better way to uh, see Fuego than a uh, Volcano Gray. That's a uh, pretty normal. Uh, let's see, uh, going back a bunch though. We did see it earlier today. Uh, well, I didn't yet, but uh, this is the first time. Uh, 10, uh, 13 a.m. It uh, did have a little bit of a activity there and of course uh, prior to that it was uh, pretty much yeah normal activity uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't really matter where you click with your hamster you'll uh, find some type of an eruption and uh, in the visible uh, daylights here so um, that is a uh, pretty cool and um, yeah it's neat to see um, busy volcano as usual, so that is a Fuego, that is in Guatemala, whereas uh, Popo Cathy Petal was in uh, Mexico. And uh, let's uh, leave uh, that be. I, I don't think there was anything, uh, well, this was uh, right uh, 12 hours ago. So, yeah, that's it. Um, it's uh, doing its thing, uh, carrying on. Let's uh, carry on with uh, uh, looking at other places. So. Uh, we'll go from a few I go a little further south and uh, this is a Messiah volcano once I refresh and uh, darn it uh, we uh, should have left it on that one uh, a Messiah volcano a uh, very smoky right now we know that we had uh, large collapses to uh, uh, try to fill up that uh, crater 
but uh, obviously it uh, it hasn't done that yet so very interesting to uh, wait and see what reappears out of here um, it's going to be uh, neat that's a messiah volcano in Nicaragua and next one uh, Rincon de la Vieja in Costa Rica unfortunately uh, the jungle has uh, gotten us it is 1822 already there um, but um, we uh, do see uh, the uh, very heavy uh, jungle cloud and now they steal our picture those guys darn it I hate when that happens anyway they'll refresh it eventually uh, here's the other one and I should have uh, kept this morning's picture on here um, this is uh, a Poaz crater in uh, Costa Rica as well and uh, I did see it this morning it was actually a pretty good looking but these uh, refresh automatically so nothing I can do but um, it uh, did have some uh, nice uh, steam coming out of it or a little bit of a uh, degassing but nothing really more and uh, I don't know what's that I do I don't, oh that just uh, takes me there doesn't do anything okay let's um, let's not worry about it and uh, that is in uh, so we'll leave uh, Costa Rica be let's uh, go down to Chile and uh, now I did refresh this morning on this thing and I was kind of looking going what the heck is going on here anyway I, I thought it snowed more but that looked more like frost in here at the beginning of the day uh, but um, if you watch in here there's something moving I don't know if it's a Sasquatch or something okay there you can see it uh, scooting up uh, up that way and watch again it'll start here there it goes something uh, scooted around there um, it was a fair size it's big uh, whatever it is um, I don't know how many legs it had but it's certainly a large um, almost looked like a canoe <laughs> I I don't know if you guys can see that that little black thing that went around the, the back side here I didn't see it come out anywhere either um, so anyway uh, El Sasquatcho <laughs> Henry you might be right well, uh, maybe El Sasquatcho uh, carrying his uh, canoe. Uh, that was a pretty, uh, pretty wild. But uh, yeah, you uh, you can definitely see it uh, taking off here, and you'll see it again uh, one more time. Yeah. Okay. Let's leave that be. Uh, <clears throat> that's a scary thought. Let's uh, go uh, to uh, this one though. This is a rink. Um, was it a Viarica? Uh, these are both in Chile, by the way. Uh, Laguna del Mali and uh, Via Rica. and uh, from this morning I was able to uh, capture this so this was uh, 6 a.m. ish 7 a.m. ish uh, their time uh, let's uh, refresh that one though and uh, actually we'll refresh both of them I want to see what it looked like um, now so that'll give us a better idea and of course it's uh, doing it's uh, refreshing it's loading it that site is a little bit slow that's okay though we're waiting for it and we won't need to check Laguna del Mali but we certainly want to check via Rica and there it is it's uh, continuing to uh, have a glow of lava within the uh, caldera up top and uh, you can see the uh, stars uh, zipping by in their little time lapse and uh, that is uh, pretty awesome um, some uh, degassing of course uh, from our lovely lava and uh, that is awesomely cool. El Sasqu uh, Sasquatcho, eh? Uh, those uh, could be uh, interesting. Let's uh, go uh, back here and we'll leave it on uh, that one. I'm going to put this uh, back into a uh, place. Um, real, real fast a look uh, at uh, these other ones here. I'm going to see if I can get that to live <coughs> and uh, make it uh, bigger. And of course, uh, this thing here it wants to hide the chat okay uh, videos will play soon yeah I'm sure they will eventually and uh, what's playing now commercials not videos I uh, put aren't I uh, think a video uh, aren't commercials videos too uh, or is it just me um, I don't know never mind 
Um, anyway, this is uh, Merapi, uh, Central Java, Indonesia. Uh, we're in the shade here. I don't see too much. Uh, the other uh, shot is a little closer there. We can see the uh, large canyon. Uh, don't see uh, too much coming from it either. There is a little bit of activity up top. So I uh, don't know. Uh, let's see if we can go into uh, this uh, right about here. And uh, no, the sky is not on fire. <laughs> Where is it? Is uh, that some SO2 coming out of there? <laughs> I have uh, no idea. This is at uh, 5 uh, 39 a.m. <clears throat> and uh, we're seeing that. And that is uh, pretty, uh, pretty wild. And uh, that was actually a kind of a neat and red. And uh, why is it only over in that one area? Are we seeing something coming out of uh, that uh, volcano? And uh, thanks, uh, Sue, for the uh, four minute warning. I uh, really uh, do have to wonder uh, what we are seeing there. Anyway, let's uh, just uh, pop in here and see if we can uh, spot some lava flow um, just to uh, keep uh, the uh, bacon lovers appeased. And uh, there is a little bit at uh, 4.30 a.m. Uh, we uh, see a little bit of a flow of uh, bacon coming down the hill. And that is awesome and uh, good to see that. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah, extra bacon. You bet. And uh, we uh, probably had a little bit uh, more of uh, that stuff uh, somewhere along the way here. I'm uh, trying to uh, spot a good one. Uh, there's a bunch of little ones, and I, I don't want to call them uh, dribbles, but uh, they uh, weren't uh, very, very large. Uh, what about this one here? Uh, 3.26 a.m., a little bit more uh, bacon, and we can see that in the IR cam. It does look a lot brighter. And of course, uh, up top in the caldera on this, uh, with the uh, clear, clearer shot up there, it looks uh, not bad. So, yep, uh, definitely some uh, bacon heading uh, down the hill. And um, I'm uh, just uh, looking to see if we can spot anything even uh, bigger. Uh, this one might have been 2.16 a.m. Looks uh, pretty good. And uh, we're going to leave it as uh, that. So, yeah, um, Merapi. Thumbs up for me today, and that is all awesome. Let's leave that one be, and uh, we'll uh, just get through the other ones here real quick. Uh, Madame Rutsa has uh, nothing uh, for uh, to all. Let me uh, refresh that just to uh, double check. And uh, the uh, shorts, and uh, nope, nothing. Okay, so we'll uh, leave that one be. Next one is uh, Mount Ruapehu. Um, I can tell already with the uh, weather, it's uh, we're not going to see it, and uh, that is over there. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it be. And sorry, Wonky, uh, I don't want to waste your time, but that's your carrot. I say goodbye. <laughs> um, we'll uh, leave that be. Next one, of course, is a towel pole. We'll uh, do that one real quick, make that bigger, and uh, continue on here with uh, making that even uh, larger. Um, yep, still looks like not so good a weather there. And we uh, definitely uh, see uh, most of the lake today. The lake, of course, is the caldera for Taupo itself. And the uh, volcano, it is a super volcano. Uh, unable to see Mount Ruapehu in the background there due to the uh, cloud work. Uh, temperatures 17 C and uh, 63 uh, Fahrenheit winds 14 miles an hour 23 clicks an hour 93 percent relative humidity yep it looks like it rain and uh, that's all good keeps um, keeps the fires down lets the mosquitoes grow awesome uh, so we'll leave it as of that and it is a time to go take another break so I am going to do that and we'll uh, take the break and when we come back from the break we will do bacon seeds so uh, that is a uh, pretty awesome uh, we uh, like bacon seeds they're yummy and I, I need to go there where do I need to click I need to click no I need to go over to the other screen and hit the music all right uh, for those good people who are here if you haven't yet bought that like button give it a quick shot also if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing if you're just lurking and peeking on in 
and we don't bite much um, at least uh, most of us don't just watch out for piggy uh, on that friendly note I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 here in Edmonton Alberta Canada I'll be back after the break keep smiling thanks
And there we go. The microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. Uh, thank you, Hermian and the Fluffy. And uh, glad to have you all on board here. Of course, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching Volcano X live stream. And uh, thank you, Asu and the uh, Kananaskis country. And I'm uh, sure uh, Sharon Stewart will be going. I can hear you. Dr. Fox 2000 <laughs> and uh, thanks uh, Lucian okay and to address your concern Lucian all right uh, this here okay that is your bright glow uh, from uh, this angle the cone is here this is a distance away from the cone let's switch to the other view and what you are seeing here is that same glow that we were just looking at uh, but that is uh, because of the angle so when we go to the other view we see that in a different location uh, I, I crack up every time you do that uh, ah well hey uh, thanks Lucian it is uh, one of those things there you go uh, I brought coffee oh I have to sing that I can hear you, Dr. Fox 2000. I brought coffee for everyone with all the creamers you need. <laughs> oh, and that's all good. Uh, the big glow looks uh, what it is uh, right at the bottom of the, of the cone. Yeah, it does look like it's at the bottom of the cone, but that's actually not the case. It's a little ways out. You gotta remember, there's a lava field there. Let's uh, let me get on uh, to uh, that one, and uh, we'll uh, go back a ways here, so you can uh, put your finger on it on the screen, and uh, then we'll go back and see where we are at. And um, that, I don't know. I think that's sitting on top of that lava bed. Uh, you can even see a little bit right there. So that was uh, down here. It's not up on the edge of the cone. At least and that's what I'm saying. I could be wrong, Lucien. I could be. But uh, then again, um, you know, when we look at the two different angles, uh, this one versus uh, this one, we know that we've got that hot lava sitting out here, that whole big area. So there's all kinds of things that can go on. Anyway, it is a time for bacon seeds, so I did say that. So let's get over there, and we're going to do that next. And, of course, we haven't had bacon seeds, so we must get bacon seeds. And uh, we'll I go here. This is uh, the uh, first bacon seed for today. And, of course, uh, that is a, a snuffly fella. He's uh, going to give you a snout bop right over top of the fence. Um, and that looks uh, pretty cool. And uh, let's uh, see what our next bacon seed looks like. Um, this one might need a little bit of a hogwash. Uh, let's uh, go uh, take a look. Oh, uh, these guys definitely need some grooming as well. Uh, they've been in the uh, shavings having some fun. They look like they've been up to no good. We uh, gotta love it. And that is awesome and uh, yeah I think they, may, they might just need a vacuum cleaner in there or something uh, that looks pretty cool though I, I like that very uh, very happy looking little guys um, what uh, uh, are they a wild pig breeds I have no idea I have uh, no idea they look pretty happy the one over on the uh, the right with all the uh, sawdust all over him certainly has more of a smile uh, so he's uh, probably going ha huh, you're taking my picture because I got all full of uh, shavings huh okay let's uh, go to the uh, next shot here and uh, talk about uh, bacon seeds these are bacon uh, seeds babies just the tiniest little uh, babies that you can uh, find and uh, that is a very very awesome and uh, yeah those are really really young little uh, bacon seeds and uh, they are obviously 
have eaten uh, literally a bacon seeds yep and you can't get them a much younger than this and uh, let's uh, go to our next one uh oh here's a whole crowd I don't even know how many is in that picture uh, there are so many of them I can't count um, uh, there's a more than I have trotters uh, let's see a four five a six seven eight a nine a ten eleven at least eleven uh, I'm counting eleven there's uh, two black and white ones and then over on the right hand side there is five for sure and over on the left hand side there is four I might be a mistaken so a four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think there's eleven and we got five on the right side two of the whiter colored ones and then four on the other side if you take a look in the back you can see an extra ear back there and that is uh, what I'm seeing at least I'm thinking that's an ear uh, behind the uh, the third one ah, ah it's 11 yep I, I thought so and you can see the uh, top of the head and, and the ear in the background there so yeah I, I think uh, that is 11 of them and that looks pretty awesome um, almost uh, a couple of uh, ninjas there um, yeah that is uh, pretty awesome let's uh, go on to the next one though Hey, these almost look like the same two as we had earlier. Only they're doing different things this time around. Uh, they're checking out the camera. It doesn't look like a very big fence that they're in. Uh, they've got their little uh, pig pen there. Uh, very, uh, very cool. So, yeah, they uh, do need a hog wash. I think so. Uh, next one is some more bacon seeds very small young little ones and uh, these are uh, just laying around in the warm sun probably a day or two or three old and not very uh, old pigs at all so uh, very nice to see and uh, that is uh, very cool that they're uh, sleeping I, I don't want to guess but it looks like at least three in that uh, shot milk coma yep uh, perhaps um let's see and uh, next one yep if uh, that ain't a bacon seed i don't know what is and uh, look at how a little uh, that one is a uh, one-hander and uh, that is a uh, pretty awesome and uh, very uh, cool uh, are these uh, uh, from uh, one farm i don't know uh, lucien i think they're from uh, multiple uh, different places uh, here's another little uh, bacon seed um, these are very very young little ones so um, very uh, cool to see you know these are a day or so old uh, in uh, many cases and wow uh, just to see at least the ones that we've seen here the really young ones uh, not very old at all and uh, just uh, barely getting their trotters underneath them and to uh, go romping around so uh, pretty cool uh, second last bacon seed is this Oop, uh, let's do that again and that's a smiley fella now if anyone ever needed a hogwash it's him he has been into something and he has a dirty and trotters and he has a very very dirty face and he needs a hogwash and he's all smirky about it I wonder what he was doing and uh, of course you know for him to smile at the camera like that with that smirk is uh, very very awesome I, I love seeing that and that that little guy was obviously he knew something was up and uh, that's why he smiled um, you're only uh, dancing on the earth for a short while yep that's a very a uh, true there billy bob uh, joe um yep um, and uh, let's get to our last bacon seed of the day and that is this one another very uh, small little guy 
and this is absolutely fantastic a uh, beautiful little tiny bacon seeds and it's literally and uh, we've seen very very nice little uh, bacon seeds for today a uh, big thank you to piggy for getting those sent in that is awesome and i really uh really really appreciate that piggy uh, thank you very kindly as always and uh, i'm glad uh, that you're uh, hanging in there and uh, resting a little bit as well okay let's leave the bacon seeds a bee and uh, again uh, thanks piggy and we will uh, get on to other uh, volcanic activity i wanted to have a quick look at a kilauea and uh, let's see if we can find that i had that here somewhere uh what is uh, this one no and that is uh, not kilauea but uh, let's uh, refresh that anyway uh, for some reason uh, that one has got a commercial okay that doesn't matter we're not going there we're going to kilauea uh found a kilauea there we go and uh, that uh, looks um interesting <clears throat> a little bit of rain there from the looks of things uh, if we back up a little bit uh, during a few hours back let's see about uh, two and a half hours ago didn't uh, rain then uh, but it was uh, raining earlier i know that uh, when i checked um, in this morning it uh, was raining so um that's what we're seeing there let's leave that one be i put that back on live this of course is helima umau crater uh there's the old west lava pond the pig island right there this is really reforming itself here and it looks like it's almost got a cliff and uh, the old west vent used to be here and then that used to be that little extra smoker and uh, don't see too much coming from that old west vent uh, lots of uh, steam around the edges, of course. Let's uh, take a look at our thermal shot. I'm going to make this one smaller first. And uh, we're going to refresh this. And we'll see what uh, it looks like uh, there today. Uh, with the rain, of course, that will keep our rock temperature on the edges of the caldera a little bit cooler. So when you see this uh, type of temperature, that is what the sun-heated rock is like today. And you can see that in all these areas in the back, including uh, down here uh, on Pig Island and uh, around the old uh, West Lava Pond, things like that. So you know those uh, temperatures aren't up very high. Uh, the uh, higher temperatures, of course, are the uh, almost whitish areas here amongst the yellows. And uh, that is a little bit warmer of, and uh, getting heat from underneath. Uh, looking at uh, some of the other spots here. We still see around the edges, including the caldera wall, as fairly well lit. And that is hotter steam escaping in those areas. Anyway, I wanted to get that one out of the way, so that is all good. Let's go over to our next one. And uh, the ice cream boat is in uh, for those who need to know. And let's make that one bigger. Uh, ice cream boat I'm right in there at least it looks like it unless it's a different boat no that's the ice cream boat it's right there uh, all good uh, get your ice cream get it while it's hot I mean uh, cool or uh, yeah whatever uh, anyway it's a uh, ice cream uh, the uh, volcano in the background Sakura Jima and uh, just across from Kagoshima there in Japan and looks like a little bit of a puffiness coming off of it <clears throat> um no uh no stream uh, last uh, two days as i talk i was uh, sick and uh, then uh, working late yeah well uh, we uh, did have a stream uh, the one short stream uh, anyway uh, this is actually backed up already i uh, don't know why it is all the way back but it's uh, not moving we'll uh, let it play um, the one thing I did want to say, uh, this is uh, from yesterday at 2028. 20, oh, it's uh, changed it. It wants to put in commercials. You've seen the glow of the lava, though. That's uh, what the important part was. That's what I was getting at. And let's uh, go back to uh, there. Uh, 20, oh, I guess it, it doesn't, it must have just been locked up there. It didn't like uh, being 
there. Anyway, we did see the glow of lava during uh, the course of the uh, night. Um, don't see it in uh, the other shots here. And also don't see anything uh, major erupting uh, out of it uh, right now. So uh, fairly uh, sedate and quiet uh, from Sakurajima. Let's uh, put that um, smaller and back on live. Let's uh, get over to the uh, next one. And uh, that'll be a uh, Sama. No, that'll be Aso. Aso! There it is. Uh, and of course, we are in the huge, huge Aso caldera. Uh, 25 kilometers from north to south, about 19 kilometers from east to west. It's a massive, but this is the only vent that is active in that Aso system. And uh, that, of course, is uh, doing its thing. A uh, little bit of off-gassing and uh, degassing as it uh, continues. And if we uh, go back and uh, take a look uh, during uh, the earlier morning hours, it's about three hours ago, it was uh, doing the same uh, thing there. And if we uh, go back even uh, further, uh, we uh, may not able be able to see a heck of a lot. Yeah, the clouds have uh, rolled in, uh, but uh, we should be able to. And that is all the way back now. That's 12 hours ago. You can see some glow right in there. So you know that there is active lava happening uh, sitting in uh, that little uh, caldera. Uh, unfortunately, uh, conditions aren't uh, the best to be able to see stuff. So, hey, it is what it is. Let's uh, leave uh, that be and uh, we'll uh, put it back to a uh, small. And uh, that is our ASO. And that's a few uh, hundred kilometers north of uh, Sakurajima. And uh, we go a whole bunch uh, further north, and we uh, take a look at Asama. Asama has uh, been uh, hiding in the clouds again, uh, from the looks of things. Uh, there is a plume there, but it's uh, blowing off away from the camera view, so you can't really see a heck of a lot from it. And uh, we uh, don't see too much uh, going on. A real uh, quick uh, shot through it. It had uh, some heavy clouds and obviously some alien intervention there with those uh, funny lines um yeah uh, right there uh, the aliens zapped it okay and we'll leave it as uh, that anyway that is a sum up that's all cool a uh, tiger tail uh, thank you a uh, that is awesome and uh, the ice cream boat still there the other crane thingy here though i wonder if uh, are they building the permanent ice cream stand or something that would be so cool. I, I would love that. Anyway, let's get us back over to um, our wonderful Icelandic eruptive activity. And we'll uh, leave it on uh, there. I'm going to make uh, this a little smaller from uh, Japan. And uh, then I will uh, get on uh, that one myself. Uh, let's see. Uh, where do I want to go? Um, one of these. Uh, this one. Okay. Uh, that way I have it. Um anyway yeah so all good uh, time for a break and uh, when we come back from the break we're going to do a quick uh, volcano report and uh, then we're going to um, try to get uh, through earthquakes real fast as well uh, i don't want to uh, stretch the show out too much here tonight uh, i know i started half an hour late so we're going to compress it a little bit but uh, try to uh, get as much in uh, as we can for now all right, uh, hang in there, everyone. I'm going to go take that break. For those good people who are here, if you have not yet bought that like button, give it a quick shot to help us out. And also, if you are um, lurking, uh, peeking in from the outside, uh, please uh, do uh, consider hitting that subscribe button if you have, uh, have enjoyed the show so far. On uh, that a friendly note, um, let's see. How's your throat doing tonight? <coughs> I, I don't know, Lucien. How's it sound? Does it look as good as it sounds? <laughs> okay. I'm going for the break. I'm, I'm going to have a break. Um, music. Cue the music. I'll be back after a few songs. Thanks. Hit the like button, me. Eh?
that microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching Volcano X on live stream. Uh, for those bunny lovers who need to know, uh, there is a bunny who just showed up about uh, uh, 30 seconds ago, if that. <laughs> so, all cool. Uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs uh, there from uh, Sparks and uh, Sue and uh, Lisa Lynch and uh, Kananaskis Country and uh, Barbara. Uh, thank you everyone uh, for those uh, welcome uh, backs. Appreciate that. Uh, that is awesome. And uh, yeah, uh, somebody was saying, hey, a bubbly activity. And uh, of course, I, uh, I was uh, looking and uh, kind of going, well, yeah, it is. Um, we have seen it over here. It was a lot brighter. Now it's just this little one spout. So I'm wondering if there's a hole underneath here somewhere and that is allowing some lava to flow out and it's just got plugged up. Uh, here's another hole. Speaking of holes, uh, right there. We see it bubbling out of here. Hey, what's going on? Uh, right in front of our eyes. Uh, is it a gusher? What is happening here? All right, uh, Greg Van Matre, uh, welcome. Uh, made it in time to hear your voice, Dr. Fox. Uh, no worries, Greg. Um, and you're just in time for something weird going on. Uh, where did this come from? Well, I, I did see this bubbling over here earlier. Now we've got it uh, sitting uh, right in front of the vent. I'm back. I hear you, Dr. Fox 2000. This is what Sharon is singing. And what, uh, what did you get us uh, this time, Sharon? <laughs> um, lava in a bucket. Um, but yeah, that was a neat to see that show up there all of a sudden. And it looks like it is uh, starting to crust over and cool off. So uh, that little burst, whatever it had, and was uh, just a very brief. So all cool. Um, yeah, and what happened to the stuff in the back? That all disappeared now. So that uh, got a cool layer over top. No more little spouts. And uh, this thing is uh, changing a very dynamic situation uh, looking at it. Uh, sweet uh, coffee server for everyone. Ooh, uh, my new fave. All right. Uh, that is interesting. Now this thing is just starting to glow and flow again out front here. Ha! Huh. All right, what's this thing doing? Okay, I'll leave it here uh, while I go read the volcano report. How about that? Um, we can do that and we can go ooh and ah at the uh, bubbles uh, coming out of there. So, a volcano report. Uh, late Wednesday's uh, volcanic activity. Uh, three volcanoes on the list. And we'll start out with Semeru, East Java, discrete volcanic ash to 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters reported at 2,000. Nevado del Ruz in Colombia, a volcanic ash not observed reported at 2,030. And Fuego in Guatemala, ongoing volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters reported at 2115 and that is a pretty normal for that one and let's go for a Thursday's volcanic activity and we have 13 volcanoes on the list uh, Sakurajima in Japan uh, by the way the first one was wrong uh, we still have the Rakens Peninsula erupting uh, hey how come we got more bubbles happening now I'm sorry for uh, breaking that. I, I just had to go uh, look. <laughs> um, never mind. I'm, um, I'm a visually inclined person. As soon as I see bright glowing lights and extra lava, I always go, huh? What, what happened? What happened? Where's it coming from? Where is it pouring out of? And why is it over there? And why is it all oozing like that? Why is there bubbles in it? Uh, you know... Uh, no, there's no squirrel. Uh, there's a hot lava. Well, I guess Billy Bob Joe. I did see the squirrel during the break. Um, what happened uh, to Sparks? A volcano report. We're doing a volcano report. Um, yeah, um, but we're watching the flow here as well. 
All right, back to the volcano report. Fine, be that way. I'll let you go to that. All right, so uh, Sakurajima in Japan, a volcanic ash not identifiable in a satellite imagery reported at midnight. Uh, Luot by Laki Laki, a Flores Island in Indonesia, a discrete volcanic ash to 7,000 feet, 60, uh, sorry, uh, 2,100 meters, uh, reported at 45 uh, minutes after midnight. And uh, Ibu, Halamahera Island, Indonesia, a discrete volcanic ash to uh, uh, 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, reported at 145. And then again at 1715. So uh, that is uh, pretty cool. And next is Semeru, uh, uh, East Java in Indonesia. And uh, that's a volcanic ash to 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters, reported at 2 a.m. and at 2 p.m. or 1,400. Next one, Reventador in Ecuador, a sporadic emissions of a volcanic ash. Uh, reported at 2.30 this morning. And then uh, volcanic ash emissions continue to 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters, reported at 14.15. And Etna in Sicily, Italy, a separate report from 2.54 a.m. We'll have a look at that uh, shortly. Uh, next is Marapi, and that is on western Sumatra, Indonesia. Continuous volcanic ash to 12,000 feet, 3,700 meters, reported at 5.15 a.m. and again at 11.15 a.m. So uh, that is uh, pretty cool. And next is Nevada del Ruz in Colombia. A sporadic emissions of a volcanic ash reported at 5.30 this morning. Then occasional volcanic ash emissions to 20,000 feet, 6,100 meters, Reported at 16.30. Uh, next is a Fuego in Guatemala. Volcanic ash emissions in a satellite uh, imagery to uh, uh, 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters. Reported at 6 a.m. And then a volcanic ash to 16,000 feet or 4,900 meters. Reported at 18.15. Next is Seven Cayenne, Peru, unable to uh, detect, reported at 7 a.m. It was cloaked, and then only steam and gases reported at 13.50. Next is Santiago uh, from uh, Guatemala, uh, sporadic emissions of uh, volcanic ash reported at 10 a.m. And then frequent uh, volcanic ash emissions of uh, two, uh, 13,000 feet or 4,000 meters Reported at 16.15. And next is a Popo Cante Petal, Central Mexico. A discrete a volcanic ash emissions to 19,000 feet, 5,800 meters. And uh, that was uh, reported at uh, 14.45. And uh, we can uh, believe that one because that's uh, like 18,300 feet tall. So it's a uh, kind of discrete, isn't it? Uh, 700 uh, feet. Yeah. Uh, last one on the list, Dekono Halamahera Island in Indonesia. I guess it wants to keep up with Ibu. Uh, continuous volcanic ash to 8,000 feet, 2,400 meters, reported in 1915. Uh, thank you, Sue, for uh, throwing in that wonderful report. Appreciate it. And uh, let's, um, hey, what's going on on the screen here? Hey, uh, why didn't anybody tell me we had an outbreak heading to the north? Huh? Oh, uh, why are we buffering now? Oh my god, uh, it's a buffering. Uh, oh, it's not. Alright, I moved my mouse over it. Uh, it's uh, good now. Yeah, uh, so it looks like it's coming out right here, feeding in both directions. Why, why, why? That's the questions, uh, the thing that we know that word the most, uh, Billy Bob Joe. Whenever you're in any kind of a scientific field, you always go, why? 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 <laughs> why is it doing this? Why is it doing that? What happened to it? When did it happen? You're always asking those questions, right? Hey, more outbreak. Why are we seeing that? Uh, where is it? Uh, somewhere around there. There. Why are we seeing that? Why is it over here? Why is it flowing to the north? 
Why is there gooey stuff in here? <laughs> I like it. Anyway, um, it's a mother nature at its best. Well, yeah, we uh, certainly don't mind mother nature uh, doing what it's doing right now. And that is providing us with a lot of information and beautiful views and uh, some uh, ooey gooey lava that's uh, building up uh, the Rakens uh, Peninsula. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, the a question to everyone's answer is uh, usually ask where we we've been uh, where we've been uh, or where we're going where are we going why <laughs> because we want to know and I know that's a beautiful lava splashes uh, too love seeing that that is a uh, pretty awesome Anyway, uh, looking uh, pretty darn good. Let's uh, carry on. Uh, we wanted to get over and uh, see uh, that other report before I forget and get sidetracked by some silly squirrel or something. Uh, Mount Etna, here we go. And uh, let's see if we can uh, see uh, what's going on. So uh, we remember seeing that spike uh, just recently, but... Uh, a small explosion last night. Well, it certainly has gone. And, oh, hang on. Is this a time? Um, I think this is, yeah, 8th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 11th. All right. So, uh, Etna, a volcano, Sicily, Italy, a small explosion last night. That was that little burp we've seen. And uh, I'm surprised that we've seen a small explosion uh, considering we've got like nothing on the uh, chart here and uh, let's see uh, what's uh, let's uh, move that over uh, the trimmer has uh, uh, remained at uh, medium levels uh, both uh, prior and uh, during the eruption INGV the uh, INGV uh, surveillance uh, cameras uh, registered a minor uh, explosion from the southeast crater at 20 uh, 41 uh, local time and yesterday uh, small ash emissions uh, were uh, dispersed uh, in uh, the uh, summit area the uh, volcanic uh, tremor remains at uh, medium levels and the tremor was uh, located at approximately uh, 2900 meters above uh, sea level and uh, in, uh, beneath uh, the southeast crater uh, no significant uh, ground deformation uh, was monitored. So, um, uh, pretty cool. And uh, that's uh, the uh, graph that they're showing. Oh, hang on. Uh, why is uh, that not on there? My God, uh, still on the map. Uh, it opened it in the wrong place. That's why. <laughs> Let me uh, do that again. I thought I had it in the right spot. Let me go back over there and click on that again, and we'll do it again. Uh, thanks for mentioning that. Actually, I looked up, and I'm going, what the heck? Where is my stuff? Where is my hamster? I wanted my hamster. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's the uh, chart. Um, this is the uh, spike that we've seen on the 7th, that little uh, tiny puff eruption that we had there. And... Uh, of course, uh, the uh, tremor is ongoing, but it's really not doing a heck of a lot. Actually, it looks like it had dry, uh, died out a little bit. Uh, silly a squirrel. Uh, that was a funny doc. Uh, yeah, squirrels aren't always that way. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is unrelated. A yellow salt flats at uh, Gallo uh, from a Tom Pfeiffer. I bet you there's uh, yummy salt in there. No? Okay, uh, let's leave that be. Anyway, I read through that, and uh, you heard it uh, before, so um, it's interesting that we've had another little uh, pop there, and of course, we're going to keep an eye on it. Um, uh, Sicily, of course, uh, can produce uh, some awesome eruptions, and um, it doesn't matter if uh, Iceland is going, uh, we uh, can uh, see uh, that too. What happened uh, there? Uh, where's that screen? Let's uh, get rid of that. Ah, uh, there. That's uh, better. All right. Uh, so that is it for there. Um, the uh, volcano reports. I uh, hope it's not building uh, pressure at Mount Etna. 
Well, Mount Etna is not a bad thing to have erupt, you know, as long as it's a reasonable eruption. And the ones that I would worry about more is, you know, if we had some a place like uh, Campy or something like that, a pop, or, um, wow, well, or, you know, something closer to a populated area. Um, although Etna, you know, is pretty close to population, right? Uh, anyway, um, where was I going to take it? We had that. I was going to go and take a look at um, the earthquakes, and we're going to do uh, that one real quick. So, uh, looking up here, nothing at the Kamchatka Peninsula. Uh, looking at the Aleutian Islands, we see everything has gotten all quiet today. And we uh, do have one up here in Alaska that's a 3.9, and uh, Nikiski, uh, uh, Alaska area. And uh, that's from uh, 136 this morning, 148.3 uh, kilometers down, sliding down a little bit. Uh, we uh, don't see anything until, well, just a little stuff. Uh, and I shouldn't say anything. I mean, just a little tiny stuff. Oh, hang on. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, we got one new little uh, quake over there in that swarm in, over in uh, Jersey. Uh, new Jersey. And uh, that is uh, where that swarm happened. Anyway, uh, this looks like maybe El Salvador, um, Nicaragua. Okay, 4.9 from 1627 today at 10 kilometers down. Moving further south here, that looks like uh, maybe uh, Peru or Ecuador. Uh, Ecuador it is, and that is from uh, 4.6, uh, 2220 yesterday, 58.6 kilometers down. Next one uh, down in Chile, a uh, 4.8. Uh, 2201 and uh, 52.3 kilometers down and this is hard to call I'm going to say Argentina it is yay 4.3 and uh, that's uh, yesterday's at uh, 2302 100.7 kilometers down uh, further uh, south here South Sandwich uh, Islands all quiet looking at the Antarctic rise we don't see anything on there Real quick here, and uh, two of the Kermadec Islands, a uh, 4.7 uh, from uh, 1343, uh, 10 kilometers down. Next one is a uh, 4.8 over in Fiji, 2:54 a.m. our time, almost uh, 600 ki uh, kilometers down. Uh, Vanuatu at a 4.8 at 10:08 this morning, 123.2 clicks down. Uh, Indonesia, the uh, Papa side. Uh, Papua New Guinea, oh, they're saying it's uh, Papua New Guinea. I think it's the Indonesian side. Let's uh, put the uh, line there. It is the Indonesian side. It's a uh, Papua, not Papua New Guinea. Uh, that's where it is. It's Indonesia. All right, uh, so that is a uh, 4.7 from a 1656. And then we uh, carry on. We don't see anything on Java or Sumatra or all the way up into Myanmar. We have this one here, 4.9, Indonesia, and that is from 9.50, and that is 19.1 kilometers down. Slightly north of Halamahera Island, we have a 4.5, a 7.06 a.m., a 67.2 kilometers down. The other one is a 4.4. Yesterday's at a 20.07. A 50.7 clicks down. And a 5.0 there. And that is uh, just a little bit uh, further north. And uh, that came in today at 11.34. Uh, 47.2 kilometers down. We got one sitting right on uh, Mendendo Island. Is uh, yeah, uh, That's actually on the island itself. A 5.2. Uh, that's yesterday's at uh, 2133, 10 kilometers down. And uh, the other one is uh, just up on the uh, northwestern side, uh, 4.6. And uh, that's from 1802 today, and uh, 10 kilometers uh, down for him. Nothing out here in the Marianas, and nothing in uh, Japan. Uh, that's all good. Uh, zooming out a little bit, we don't see anything else uh, in um, our uh, Asian area there, nothing in uh, the um, Arab uh, areas either, and nothing uh, for Piggy, and nothing um, new here in the Azores, and uh, nothing uh, new in Iceland, and that's all good. 
it is time for me to go and take a break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when uh, we get back from the break, we'll do a real a quick thing here on Hawaii, and uh, then uh, we will uh, get um, uh, going to just have a peek at the SO2 map and so on. Uh, Weeping Scorpion, a welcome. Uh, they uh, probably should have uh, used an Indonesian uh, reference uh, point, uh, but oh well, uh, they uh, didn't. Yeah, hey, it happens. It's all good. Anyway, here's um, the uh, lavalie views of Iceland, of course. And for those good people who have uh, joined us, if you haven't yet hit that like button, please do consider doing that. Help us out and grow and, um, and get uh, the uh, YouTube analytics uh, going. And if you want to help us grow the channel, of course, and the uh, thing you can do there is hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't done that as of yet. On those friendly notes, it is a time for me to go take a break. Don't go away. More to come. And we'll try to make it as quick as we can, though. Um, here's some music in the meantime. I'll be back.
And there we go. The microphone is back on. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. You're watching a Volcano X live stream and a beautiful sight there in the Arakans Peninsula. And uh, that is uh, pretty awesome uh, to see that continuing. Anyway, uh, thank you for the uh, welcome back there, Sue. I think everyone else uh, fell asleep. <laughs> it's all uh, good. And uh, I did put up a, a poll up on the uh, top of there. Uh, thanks, uh, Sparks, uh, there. Uh, anyway, uh, the uh, poll is how long will this uh, volcano erupt? Uh, 30 days uh, or uh, 30 to 60 days or uh, uh, 60 to 90 days or 91 days or longer. And uh, so far we've had uh, 10 people vote and uh, looks like 50% uh, are uh, on that uh, 30 to 60 day uh, thing. I'm falling asleep uh, would be bad. I am what? I am at a work for another four and a half hours. Weeping Scorpion, do not fall asleep. And um, it's a very interesting uh, that the uh, most uh, most of us uh, vote uh, for the same thing, but nobody knows, of course. No, nobody knows. Uh, oh, uh, we have uh, uh, 91 days or longer is now on the board as well at uh, holding at 8%, uh, very uh, cool. Um, we'll let that run until the end of the show here. So um, I'm just uh, kind of curious to get the feel from a few people to see what they're thinking may end up happening. Anyhow, uh, let's leave our um, um, thing of the uh, poll, poll uh, B for now. Of course, uh, you know, a poll, it's uh, for fishing for answers, right? And um, that's uh, what we got. Let's uh, take a look, though, uh, back into our earthquakes. And uh, we uh, did want to finish off Hawaii. I'm just going to go through the quakes very, very quickly. Uh, this one is a 1.9, 456 this morning. And uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, what we got over here at Kilauea. A little bit more action, uh, 2.3 at 105 a.m., uh, 1.7 from a 4.49, uh, this one is a 1 point, uh, sorry, 2.1, uh, 6.52 a.m., uh, 1.8 from a 3.27, uh, the other one is a 1.8 from a 9.29, and then we've got this one here, 1 1.4 from a 12.57. And this one is a 1 1.5 from a 15.08. And uh, let's see, uh, this one here is a fork from a 1.8 from a 14.15. Uh, so all of these happened uh, just uh, recently. Uh, very interesting. And a 1.7 down here yesterday's 21.13, so I'm not going to worry about that. And this one is a 1.4 from uh, 11.17, uh, 2.0 from a 6.39, and this is a 2.4 from a 17.10, a uh, 2.1 from a 7.47, uh, 1.8 from a 4.45 a.m., and this one on the water here is 2.2 uh, .2 from 2.50 a.m. And then we've got uh, a 2.1 from 16.08. And the next one is a 2.4 from 10.50, uh, sorry, 20.53 yesterday. So uh, older one there. And it just gives you a little bit of an idea that we've got something going on and uh, some uh, renewed uh, kindling, if you will, uh, around our Kilauea area. And uh, seeing these all develop just uh, in recent hours here, very interesting. Hopefully we'll see a few more of those and uh, maybe uh, Kilauea will uh, start doing something. That'd be uh, really awesome and cool. Uh, anyway, let's uh, see if we can get ourselves over to an SO2 map. And we'll get that windy.com typed in and go there and actually even make sure we switch things. And there we go, windy.com. 
Uh, they've uh, changed things again. Uh oh, uh, what happened to our air quality? Oh boy, a menu. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want a uh, where's air quality? What happened uh, to uh, temperature, clouds, waves, rain, thunderstorms, uh, uh, altitude? No, what is this? Uh, is that our. That's a pollution? No. Thunderstorms. Uh, I have no idea. What happened to our SO2? Uh, they've uh, changed my settings. I, I don't know what to do. I am fading. So good night, good people. Thanks for a great show, Doc. See you all soon. Good night, Billy Bob Joe. Take care. All the best to you. And uh, what happened to my SO2? Uh, wind gusts, no. Low clouds, no. Uh, where's air quality? I don't see air quality in here anywhere. Rain, waves, clouds, temperatures. I, I don't know what happened. They've uh, changed it on us and it's uh, gone. Um, I wonder if uh, they uh, did that on uh, purpose. Uh, display a map, blah, 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 blah. Airports, webcams, uh, tidal force uh, forecasts. Uh, air quality, how about uh, that? Let's see what uh, that does. Where's air quality now? Um, I clicked on it. It doesn't see that. Um, uh, pin to home. I don't want to pin that to home. I just want air quality. Where's my SO2? They've uh, changed it. I can't find my SO2. Uh, okay, well... I wonder if they've left that in the gold premium option now, those scoundrels. Let's leave that be. And more layers. What about, well, we just click on that. I want air quality. It's just not showing me that. Temperature, airports, webcams, empty map. No, I don't want an empty map. <laughs> Uh, air quality, there, SO2, there, hey, we found it, maybe it'll leave it there, all right, uh, let's uh, leave it uh, very quickly though, and uh, we uh, do see uh, some stuff coming off of uh, the Kamchatka getting out into the uh, Pacific, and uh, heading uh, towards the Alaskan uh, Panhandle again, or sorry, uh, the Aleutian Islands, I should say, and uh, that is actually uh, not so bad uh, for the most part though, uh, pretty um, uh, clear uh, stuff here in uh, most of uh, North America, so uh, we're not going to really harbor on uh, too m much of it. Um, looking at Alaska, it looks like uh, the worst place. And the uh, southern uh, states areas here, uh, they uh, oh, uh, neat. What's with these uh, funny green uh, colors? All those uh, temperatures, um, or is that uh, levels? I, I don't know. Anyway, um, we uh, do see a Popo Cathy Petal uh, dumping its stuff all the way out uh, past Florida on uh, that side and then going all the way out into uh, the ocean on uh, this side. Not sure where this remnant is uh, coming from. We'll leave that be. And uh, looking at Antarctica. Wow, we've got a lot of SO2 down there. What's uh, going on? Is uh, there a more eruptive activity happening in the uh, Antarctic? And uh, that may be what we're seeing there. So, um, kind of interesting. Um, pretty normal uh, for uh, Chile and those areas. Not going to worry about that. And uh, going over here, hardly anything from White Isle Volcano. Australia looks about normal. Uh, same thing uh, with... Um, Tonga, uh, but it looks like Vanuatu has uh, picked up the pace. Yasur down on the bottom, and then Gawa and Aoba. Abrams up uh, there in the top, uh, doing their thing. Uh, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, uh, still uh, pretty normal. Uh, Ebu and Dakono, right up in there on Halamahera Island, uh, doing uh, their thing. And then, of course, uh, you have uh, Indonesia for the most part. 
Lou all to buy lucky lucky as well as a Lou all to luck I'm doing a that now uh, this is uh, from a Simaru this is uh, from a Merapi as well as other industrial stuff and it looks like the uh, plume has uh, picked up and a uh, very very dark in this area that is indicating uh, that a crack of towel is a uh, busy and uh, I've been uh, throwing out some SO2 uh, Jakarta of course uh, is uh, certainly helping with that and uh, the rest of uh, uh, Sumatra looks uh, pretty uh, normal I'm not going to worry about uh, those uh, Philippines uh, looks uh, pretty normal as well uh, same thing with the industrial stuff there from uh, Taiwan uh, Suwanosi Jima uh, there and uh, the uh, Japanese islands are doing its thing and Sakurajima, fairly heavy output from it as well as from ASO. So um, both of them are dumping out a bunch of SO2. And uh, moving up, uh, looking at uh, Tokyo, not seeing so much there, but Asama certainly is uh, dumping out a bunch of SO2 as well. And uh, that brings us back up to the Kamchatka, and uh, we uh, see the uh, normal flows there. Uh, India still a pretty uh, normal as well as what we see uh, down here in uh, South Africa the gold smelting uh, then here in the uh, Democratic Republic of uh, the Congo Nyamura Gira and uh, Nira Congo uh, doing uh, their thing Urta Ale on the identical depression uh, stepped up the pace a little bit as well SO2 all over the place and then we see these other uh, places here with the heavy SO2 uh, coming off of uh, the stuff in uh, Iraq. Oh, hang on, uh, this is uh, no longer Iraq. It's now called Ethiopia. <laughs> Let me refresh that and uh, get the map uh, back to normal. There we go, Saudi Arabia. Uh, there we go. Uh, anyway, uh, Kuwait, Iraq, Iran, as well as uh, Beirut, and over here in Cairo, and even over in uh, Turkey. Uh, they all seem to have uh, some um, of uh, those uh, heavier levels and that of oil refinery uh, stuff SO2 off gassing piggy's got 17 degrees uh, Celsius and the fair uh, level of SO2 of 10.9 or 10.8 uh, roughly I mean uh, hopefully uh, that'll uh, dissipate a little bit and uh, Mount Etna there in Sicily and uh, we see uh, most of that heading to the uh, northwest and I'm not sure where the stuff from uh, Stromboli is going, but it's going as well. And that is uh, kind of it for there. And again, look at all these green dots. And boy, I'm sorry the planet is suffering from green dot-itis. Uh, it is uh, a disease. Everybody's going to die. No, I'm kidding. It's a joke. Um, these are temperatures locally, I think. Uh, or air quality that's what it is it's an air quality thing oh that's a pollen count ah stay away from me and uh, that's a bad pollen let's uh, go take a look at my place see what we got for pollen of course 16 uh, 28 in the south side uh, to the south uh, yeah so um, stuff me up and before you go go um, that's the way it works Anyway, uh, looking at the rest of the SO2, it um, looks like uh, we've got a fair amount of sitting here by Italy, but uh, the rest should be okay for most of Europe, with the exception of the uh, northern parts of uh, Finland, Norway, and Sweden. Uh, Finland, kind of a more southern part, but the other ones are okay. And uh, our wonderful uh, Iceland, unfortunately, uh, the Reykjans Peninsula is getting SO2 that is curling around uh, up there. And I'm still suspecting that we have some kind of a underwater vent here that is um, throwing out some of that. Uh, we see these heavy curves up here. Don't know where that's actually coming from, but that's what I'm suspecting. Anyway, uh, let's uh, leave uh, that uh, be there, and we will go over to our uh, weather map, and I uh, just want to uh, check for storms. I don't want to do uh, much else. Uh, don't see uh, too much uh, weird stuff here. No real uh, cold uh, things. Uh, quick a uh, peek here into uh, 
a death valley we're seeing it's uh, finally warming up 34 degrees in a couple of spots there las vegas at 26 and we're seeing up to a 30 there in a mexicali's area phoenix sitting at a 27 that's about time tucson 26 and that is a pretty awesome let's go have a look at further south here uh, mexico at 37 degrees uh, so far uh, right in uh, there so a uh, 37 uh, for the high and uh, mexico city itself uh, only about 16 uh, sliding uh, further south uh, don't see anything uh, that is outrageous but uh, 34s uh, there in colombia we've got 33s uh, 34s in uh, venezuela as well Boa Vista 31 but slightly warmer to the north and uh, not seeing uh, too much else uh, there. Buenos Aires are uh, sitting at a uh, 15. It looks like it's uh, getting cooler uh, down there. 16 at uh, Paysandu, and uh, Rio de Janeiro 24 degrees. A uh, bottom half uh, definitely of Argentina is a lot colder. And uh, New Zealand, South Island, a uh, cold, more uh, warmer up in the north. Uh, 12 uh, down in Christchurch. Uh, 13 in uh, Wellington, a uh, real quick look here at Hastings, 19 in Taupo, 17, Hamilton, uh, 20, and Auckland, 21. We see up to uh, 22 degrees uh, there on the peninsula, and uh, not uh, bad. A uh, quick uh, peek at Hobart is uh, coming in at uh, 17, and uh, Melbourne here is uh, 16, uh, Adelaide uh, 16, and uh, Sydney uh, sitting at uh, 21. Home of Oz and uh, Tom Caruso at 25 degrees there and uh, snooping uh, for those high temperatures and I think uh, Mexico will have it at uh, 27 unless we can uh, find something hotter uh, perhaps in Indonesia no or um, maybe in Papua New Guinea no I don't think so uh, let's uh, continue on here uh, we uh, don't see anything on Timor last um and uh, looks like a bangkok sitting at a uh, 32 degrees and uh, there's uh, some higher temps in here uh 30 uh, fours in uh, uh what is it uh, Mad uh, not madagascar um hey uh, boy a uh, boy uh, uh that'll uh, come to me um what is uh, the name of uh, that country huh um I uh, said it a million times already today. Anyway, uh, let's uh, leave it alone. Uh, Manila um, is a uh, 33. Uh, quick uh, peek here. Um, Myanmar, yeah, that's it. Uh, 17. Thanks, uh, Sue or Sharon. Uh, thanks, uh, Sharon. Uh, 17 uh, there, 18, and uh, looks like a uh, Tokyo sitting at about 16. Sapporo up on the uh, top. Uh, uh, sitting at about uh, 10 degrees um yep all good india pretty normal delhi 20 right now that's actually uh, warmed up a bunch and uh, let's see uh 27 28s 31s uh do we have uh, something higher than 37 uh, here i uh, don't believe so and uh, we uh, didn't see anything i didn't see any uh, temperature in australia either and uh, nothing uh, that is uh, warm so and uh, mexico uh, gets uh, the hot uh, temperature for the day and uh, not looking uh, that bad in uh, europe madrid uh, 12 paris uh, sitting at 10 home of a uh, tanto coming in at about nine uh, real quick a uh, look over here munich is a uh, five uh, frankfurt a uh, eight cologne uh, 13 yvonne kunkel's house at uh, 12 even though she's not there and uh, it is 11 in uh, berlin and uh, 12 in hamburg and uh, we've got amsterdam coming in at uh, 13 and uh, brussels are uh, sitting at uh, 12. a uh, quick look at uh, copenhagen a uh, nine arhurs is an uh, eight oslo coming in at a uh, six uh, stockholm eight and helsinki a uh, six and st petersburg seven degrees and uh, looks uh, like uh, about uh, 12 uh, there in London, England. And uh, we will go up to Leeds about 12 there. Looks like a little cooler in Wales. Uh, and uh, uh, 
maybe a tad cooler up here. Actually, and it's not bad temperatures for Glasgow, 11 degrees, Aberdeen, and 10. So, uh, pretty uh, good. And Dublin, about 12. Irish Monks Home, about 12. And uh, now our wonderful uh, Iceland. And let's see, it looks like a little warmer on the Reagan's, uh, Palen uh, Reagan's uh, Peninsula. Uh, 4 degrees there. And in Reykjavik, the capital, 2 in uh, Grindavik. And Reykjavik's bar sitting at about a 3. So uh, that is our temperatures uh, for today. Let's uh, take a look at what the coldest uh, temperatures are on the planet. And I know it, it gets uh, really chilly uh, down here really, really quickly. It's uh, not chilly though. Um, it's uh, Antarctica. Eh. Chilly is uh, warm. Get it? Chilly? Warm? No, oh, boy. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. And uh, let's see uh, what we got uh, for temperatures. Uh, so far I see a minus 73, minus 74. Let's see if we can uh, spot anything uh, colder than a minus 74. Uh, there's a 72s. Uh, where's uh, that? A 74. Uh, 61s. No, uh, that, oh, uh, there's a 75 in uh, there. And let's uh, see uh, what uh, that area holds. A minus a 75. Those are all 72s. What happened to my 75? Uh, there's a 75 in here somewhere. Yep. Um, but I'm, I'm not seeing anything uh, colder yet. Minus a 75 uh, so far. And I'm just to cruise around here for a second. Now there's a minus 74, 75. Let's uh, see if uh, there, oh, I see a minus 76, and uh, just for a second, it's in there, there it is, and uh, do we have a minus uh, 77 here, minus a 7, yep, a minus 77, uh, looking around for a minus 78, uh, I don't think I'm going to find one, oh, hang on, minus a 75, there again, 77, um, I've got to get on uh, one of these uh, minus 77s and zoom in and uh, maybe find a minus 78. Uh, I, I don't think so though. Okay, uh, let's I call it a minus a 77 for Antarctica. I, I do not see a minus a 78 in there. Um, I'm still checking though. No, we've gone out of it. Okay, minus 77 it is, and let's uh, take a look at uh, Greenland and see what it is uh, there. Then uh, minus 77, and uh, we got Greenland uh, coming in at, uh, I see a minus uh, 46 already. Uh, minus uh, 40s, yeah, uh, it uh, looks like uh, this is the uh, cold spot in here somewhere. We'll uh, zoom in a little bit and take a look. And a uh, minus uh, 45. Oh, uh, there's a minus uh, 47. Uh, well, I see a 48 in there. Minus a uh, 48 right on uh, the screen. And I think uh, that is uh, probably it. I'm going to leave it as uh, that. Minus a uh, 48. Uh, let's uh, take a look and see uh, what we can find in Canada. Eh? And uh, let's see uh, what we got up here. Secret spot uh, minus uh, 31 or 32, and it's not that cold. Uh, what about over here? Uh, these areas uh, there, there's a minus uh, 37. Do we have a minus uh, 38 there? Uh, so a minus 37 so far, uh, right uh, there. Uh, I'm gonna go and look at uh, some of these other spots. Just a real quick, I, I don't think there's going to be anything colder, minus a 37, a no, a don't zoom in, I want to see what is out there. Uh, now we'll uh, zoom in on this one a little bit, minus a 31s, I uh, don't see anything there, minus a 32s, well I will live with minus a 37 that we found, let's uh, take a look at Alaska. And uh, 
I am I'm going to head down here to the mountains because I don't think that we're going to see much else. There's a minus 18. Um, let's see. Yeah, minus 18. Um, that's about it. Maybe I just to zoom in here, make sure. Yep, it's uh, just that one a splotch there. Uh, what about uh, the other uh, rocks here? Uh, minus uh, 14, and not that cold. Um, let's see, along uh, the coastal areas are pretty uh, warm. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, not seeing it. Minus 8 or 9? I uh, don't know. I uh, think uh, Sue might have me on this one. Uh, she was hunting uh, for a long time. You know, uh, if you take your time, you can really find some of those spots. Oh, uh, there's a minus 19 uh, right uh, there. Do we have a minus uh, 20? No, a minus 19. Okay, I'm going to leave it as a minus 19, and uh, we'll uh, leave that, that one in there. Let's go to Russia and see what we can uh, find uh, there. I know it's not very cold in Russia compared to uh, the uh, normal minus uh, 50s uh, that we see. Uh, but uh, let's uh, go have a little hunt anyway and uh, see uh, what we've got. we got a minus uh, 31 uh, there. Uh, let's see, um, minus uh, 31, minus uh, 30. <clears throat> let's see, uh, what about right there, minus uh, 30. Uh, these uh, spots here are all a little bit uh, difficult to uh, measure out a minus a 30s, a 30, 30, uh, 30, and uh, not good, minus a 31s, let's see if we can find um, colder stuff, a minus a 28, 29, a 30s, <clears throat> okay, I'm not seeing anything I'm really cold there, all right, a minus a th uh, 30, one is uh, what we got. What about up here? Let's see if we got something here. Minus a 32. Let's see if we can find something colder. Uh, minus a 32 is uh, what we see so far. Uh, right there. Minus a 32. Oh, minus a 33. Do we have a minus a 34? Minus a 33 on the board. And I, I think that is uh, about it. Let's uh, check up here. I, I don't see anything uh, colder than a minus 32. So minus 33 right in here where, where it was uh, there is uh, pretty good. Um, I'm just going to double check this island again. No, I don't see anything. So minus 33 for Russia. And that is it. Um, I, I think... Um, Doc finds Alaska 19, a tied, a minus 19 that is. Uh, thank you, Sue, for uh, playing the wonderful game. And uh, I think it's an overall tie today, which is uh, really cool and awesome. And a big uh, thank you uh, to uh, Sue. That is uh, really cool. Uh, super uh, tied. Yep, we uh, did indeed uh, tie that game. So, uh, very, very awesome. Um, yeah, wow, look at the psychedelic uh, lights uh, going off there. And we've got some uh, cloud and haze going past the uh, LFI camera, the top uh, left one. And it uh, makes it uh, look lighter and darker uh, in those things. Anyway, I wanted to see what we've got. we got 24 volts on that pole. And I'm going to end the pole um because uh, we're gonna end uh, the show but i just figured we'll uh, show the results here in this uh thing real quick so uh 30 to 60 days we've got 41 percent of you indicating that and we got uh, uh less than a 30 uh up to a uh, 30 days there uh 29 percent uh 60 to 90 days we got 20 percent and only eight percent indicating that is a 91 days or more so uh, pretty cool and uh, hopefully I uh, will uh, hopefully we'll see it and do um, a little bit more than that 60 days and that would be really delightful 
I'd like to be in that group. Uh, you are welcome, Sue and Grandma B and everyone else. Uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, it is a time for me to wrap it up. So uh, thank you, moderators, Arizona Snowman and the Piggy and Sue and C and D Boy and Yvonne Kunkel and Agura and uh, uh, Siggy and uh, Gary uh, 24/7 Live AZ Skies and did I say C and D Boy? I, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, well, thanks all the uh, moderators, appreciate all of you guys, and of course, I appreciate each and every one of you, a uh, part of the uh, wonderful Lava family here at the Volcano X, so uh, thank you for uh, being here, and I'm uh, going to wrap it up real quick, so uh, thanks everyone uh, again, and we'll see everyone tomorrow, and uh, tomorrow is Friday, of course, so... You know, it is what it is. We will uh, be uh, hunting uh, the Friday stuff. Keep smiling, everyone. Uh, have a wonderful evening or a morning or a day, depending on where you are. And uh, only one thing left to add. Please, please, tell your loved ones that you love them tonight. For tomorrow is never promised. Take care, everyone, and good night. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We'll see you all tomorrow. Oink, oink!